Hey guys, I'm Alina and today we are going to do some important questions from class 10 on nutrition lesson 1. So let's get started. So since all of your exams are approaching, I thought that it's time to do some questions. This video will include all the previous year questions, frequently asked questions and all the type of questions that can possibly come from this chapter. So let's start with the first question and the most important question I would say because this has been repeated many times in many question papers. The question is, Como son les aiguilles de Bavilla? Or it can also be asked as, Décrivez les aiguilles de Bavilla? Or, Que savez-vous des aiguilles de Bavilla? Everywhere the answer is just the same. You just have to describe les aiguilles de Bavilla. So this usually comes for three marks. And you can write the answer as, Les aiguilles de Bavilla se trouvent en course. Ce sont des montagnes avec des pics pontieux comme des aiguilles et elles sont très belles. Les aiguilles de Bavilla are found in course and they are the mountains with peaks pointed like needles and they are very beautiful. Next important question is an MCQ type question. Où se trouve la course au sud de France, en France, en Afrique? And mostly the same options come, like I have seen the same options in many question papers. The answer is au sud de France. Don't get confused and write en France. It's au sud de France. Next one is que veut dire terminal S? What does terminal S mean? Terminal S veut dire terminal de la série S scientifique. Direct question from your book. Que veut dire terminal L? Same. Terminal L veut dire terminal de la, lit, uh, de la série littéraire, de la série L. The next question is, décrivez la course, again, a very frequently asked question. La course est une petite île qui se trouve au sud de Bastia, dans la mer Méditerranée. So, la course, it's a small island which is found in the southern part of Bastia in the Mediterranean Sea. And next question is, Qui a écrit l'accent grave? This will mostly come as a MCQ question. So the answer is Jacques Trevé. Seventh question is Parole et les recueils de poèmes écrits par. Again, the answer is Jacques Trevé. These both will come as MCQs because usually the answers that you have to write the subjective part they come for three marks so there's nothing for three marks here uh, parole is the collection of poems written by Jacques Prevé and accent grave is also a poem written by Jacques Prevé eighth question dash se trouve au sud de la course now this is a question which is a bit problematic because in every school and from teacher to teacher the answer differs some people say that the answer should be Bastia, while the others say it should be Bonifacio. According to me, it should be Bonifacio, but in your books like Get Ready Everywhere, the answer is Bastia. And some teachers also say it's Bastia, but I think it's Bonifacio. And I think according to Google also it's Bonifacio. So for this question, I request you all to ask your teachers which answer will earn you a mark in your boards not only in school exam but this is important for your boards as well so which answer will give you marks in boards it can be any Basti or Bonifacio I can't tell which one would be right because there's a lot of confusion in this so please ask your teachers and clarify this question for the ninth question le camembert c'est un dash français now this was given on your page number seven in the bottom there was a question where some words were written with a capital C, someone with a small C, and they each had a different meaning. So this is not a very frequently asked question. Answer is, by the way, fromage. It's a cheese in France. Actually, this is not a very frequently asked question, but a possible question. It is a task, I know, to learn all of them, which is a city, which is a wine, which is a cheese. So if you want, you can skip it, but on your own risk. Because uh, I think these come from these come for MCQ. This one will come for an MCQ, and you have an option to do a limited number of MCQs. So if you want, you can leave if it comes. But still, be on the safer side, and you can go through it. Another way in which this question can come is 
Qu'est-ce que c'est la champagne and le champagne? One with a capital C, one with a small C, la and le. So the difference is, la champagne, c'est une région. And le champagne, c'est un vin de cette région. La champagne, it's a place, it's a region. And le champagne is the wine from this region. The next question is, où se trouvent les îles d'Andaman et du Nicobar? Dans la côte du Bengal, en Corse, à Bastia. Where do you find uh, the Andaman and the Nicobar Islands? In the Gulf of Bengal, in Corse or in Bastia? So it's obviously dans le Gulf du Bengal. Next one, que savez-vous de Port Blair? Or it can also be asked as, décrivez Port Blair. So the answer is, Port Blair est une petite ville animée au milieu de la mer dans le golfe du Bengal, avec beaucoup de cocotiers et quelques collines. C'est la capitale des îles d'Andaman et de Nicobar. Port Blair is a small busy city in the middle of the river, in the middle of the sea in the Gulf of Bengal with coconut palms and some hills. It is the capital of the Andaman and the Nicobar Islands. In the 13th question, we have Apsui le pluie. It's a proverb that we need to complete. It can come as an MCQ. You will be given options, which is the correct part. So it's Apsui le pluie, le beau temps. Now, there are other proverbs also that you have to learn, which were given as a questions of uh, match the following. Uh, it's not there in this video, but usually it will come as match the following in the form of an MCQ. You will be given three to four proverbs. You have to choose the correct order and then the MCQ will be like which is the correct pair. That can come or it can come like this. Fill in the blanks with the options. Another way which I found, it is kind of a very different way, a very, you know, differently formed question i have never seen a question like this in any question paper i just found it in a sample paper that i was going through and i think it's a very good way of forming a question it says that deni se décourage rien ne se passe bien il a trop de travail son meilleur ami ne lui parle et sa soeur est malade ses parents lui dit now here it says deni is very discouraged uh nothing is going good he has a lot of work his best friend is not talking to him his sister is sick so his parents what will they say to him après le pluie le beau temps now these are the expression the probes that you learn fait le pluie et le beau temps parle de la pluie et du beau temps now see how this question is formed they have just given you a situation they have just explained everything and now you have to choose the proverb so the answer here is après le Après la pluie, le beau temps. So after the bad times, the good times will come. So that is what this question is trying to convey. And finally, the last question. Il y a des chotiniers à Cap Coast. There are chestnuts in Cap Coast. So that is vrai. So that will all the questions I found from this chapter. I tried to include all types of questions, even MCQs and such long questions with fill in the blanks also. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then uh, I can do it for the rest of the chapters. Just comment down below if this helped. And that will be all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I'm on YouTube. For notes, question papers, worksheets and more, you can check out my website studywithalina.com. Link is in the description. Even you can send me your French resources at studywithalina at gmail.com and you will be credited on my website. I also have a second channel where I put vlogs and other fun stuff. So if you want to check that out, link is in the description. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, take care and bye-bye.